how to create a flashing effect, and we're going to look at doing this in two ways. Um, in Final Cut Pro, there are a whole bunch, bunch of built-in effects. I can go ahead and click here on this icon, and it shows me all the effects I have installed. I can actually scroll through here and find all sorts of interesting stuff. Um, but I'm going to click on All, and I'm going to do a search for Flash. We want to find a flashing effect. And we've got a few different ones. We've got flashing, intro flashing, and uh, quick flash spin. I'm going to click on this clip. This is the one we're going to create a flashing effect on. We'll have a look to see what all of these effects do. So I'll pick it up, drag it on top of the clip, and let's check it out. Pretty cool. I'm going to undo Command Z or Edit Undo. Let's try this one, intro flashes. Back up, check it out. So it pans and zooms around the clip. Finally, quick flash spin. Let's see what that one looks like. So that one, in, a, in addition to flashing and moving and panning around, it also tilts a little bit. I'm going to undo again. Um, there's another way to create flashing. I'm going to zoom in on my clip by just pinching on my trackpad. And we're going to do this with keyframes now. So I'm going to go ahead and, and see. OK, there's 8 seconds and there's 9 seconds. Let's say I wanted to flash 3 or 4 times in that second. I'm going to go ahead and add some keyframes. So I'll click here at eight, my 8 second marker. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click here. And uh, I'm just going to start by touching the exposure thing. And what that does is it, it puts a check mark in the color uh, board uh, area. And then I can add a keyframe. So I'm going to add a keyframe at 8 seconds. Let's add one every, I don't know. You can sort of see this is broken down like a ruler. So let's just kind of drag along every 2 or 3 notches and add one. So I'm just dragging the playhead and I'm clicking the add a keyframe button. And uh, I'm not even I'm not spacing them perfectly evenly, you know, just dragging. And let's put one at nine seconds. Okay, so it's gonna flash a bunch between those two. So what I'm gonna do is just keep pushing this jump back button. Till we get to our first keyframe at eight seconds. Okay, so we'll start with normal exposure. We'll jump to the next keyframe and we're gonna drag it way up. We'll jump to the next keyframe and we'll drag it way down. Next, up, next, down, next, up, next. Way up, next, way down. I don't know what this is going to look like. Let's check it out in a sec here. And we're almost done. Let's go way up again or way down again. And then finally, we'll end at normal. OK, so let's jump back and see what it looks like. So sort of an unsettling flashing. Pretty good. Now we could go back and play around with saturation in each one of those or color or whatever we want. But we can see as we drag and scrub back with our playhead that our exposure jumps around as we pan through those eight from eight to nine seconds in that clip. And that can create a fairly unsettling feeling in the viewer.